And finally, new rule casting directors have to stop listening to the casting police and go back to doing their job, which is picking the best actor for the role. Now, I mention this because a lot of people lately are either apologizing for or calling on others to apologize for playing roles they call appropriation. James Franco was just chosen to play Fidel Castro, and John Leguizamo posted, no more appropriation, boycott. This is fucked up. I don't got a prob with Franco, but he ain't Latino. <clears throat> okay, but John Leguizamo is Colombian-American. He ain't a Venetian, but he played one. <laughs> he ain't a French little person. <laughs> or an Italian plumber, but he played them too, because he's... <laughs> Because he's an actor. Why the hell do you think people become actors? Because they want to spend their life not being who they are. Stop it there and welcome to Beaker React Reviews, where react reviews to things on the internet, some days, some short to video. And today we are returning with Bill Maher. I totally agree with him. The point of acting is to be something that you're not. And a lot of, I mean, real actors, real creators, the to people, like one of their lifelong dreams when it comes to acting is to play someone that is drastically different from who you are. If you are an able-bodied person to play someone who's enabled, if you are sightseeing to play someone who's uh, blind, if you are ment not mentally impaired, play someone who has schizophrenia or bipolar, if you're not, if you don't have an addiction, play someone who's an alcoholic. Like, that is the dream. That is the award winning dream of any actor to play someone who's drastically different from you. But now you can't do that because of cultural appropriation, which is bullshit. This is the point of acting. And I have to say, this goes from the right and the left because a lot of you right people, and sometimes I understand why and I agree when it comes to sort of race switching or gender switching, when they just lazily take one movie like Ocean's Eleven and just gender swap everybody, or take a movie that has historical significance and then switch out the race where historically that wouldn't make sense. I understand that. But now it's become, if there's any person of color that's in lead, it's woke. If there's any gay person that's in the movie, it's woke. You know what I mean? If, there, if a woman has any lead, it's woke. Like, come on, just calm the fuck down. This is acting, right? And so a woman can play any role, a man can play any role, whatever race, gender, whatever you want to be, you can play whatever, you can play whatever role as long as you are the perfect actor for it. It is about the art. It is about the craft. It is about the talent. It is about the quality. Not who is who is playing who, what gender, what race, what sexuality, what nationality, what religion, what have you. Anyway, I'm gonna get back into it. But before you do, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that button to get the notifications when I do upload. All of that really does help with the algorithm, guys. And if you'd like to support this channel any further, you can donate my PayPal and Cash App link is in the description box below, sometimes in the comment section. Of course it helps, but you don't have to. You can just like, comment, and subscribe. Another great way to support this channel is either join my brand new membership program different levels, different tiers, different perks, or you can visit my Burning Room shop. Links down below. And if you like, you can super thanks. Other than that, sit back, relax, and continue to enjoy the video. All right, here we go. Appropriating sounds like an unforgivable sin until you remember that's what acting is. That's why acting jobs are called roles. Sean Penn won an Oscar for playing gay civil rights martyr Harvey Milk. At the time, it was considered a courageous act of solidarity for a straight mo male movie star to play a homosexual. Now it's the opposite. Eddie Redmayne played a transgender woman in The Danish Girl, but now calls that a mistake because many people don't have a chair at the table. Well, actually, in movies now, they do. And what does it have to do with you playing trans? Does it then work the other way? Can trans actors only play trans characters? Because that's not going to be a good deal for them. The trans people will say, no, that's not true, because playing trans when you're not trans is punching down, and playing straight or non-trans or, or biological, whatever, when you're trans is punching up, right? And so it's the same thing of, like, racism. Black people can't be racist because they lack power, whatever that means. But white people can be racist even if you were homeless your entire life. 
you still have more power, therefore you can be racist, right? It's that same idea. It's very hypocritical. It makes really no sense. It's always double standards. But a lot of the progressive ideology really makes no sense. It's just like whatever fits the narrative at the moment is what they go with. But anyway, let's continue. And isn't the best acting always about making us feel our common humanity beyond separate identities? A black George Washington in Hamilton, of course. But Ryan Gosling as Frederick Douglass? Yes, that would be problematic. I get what he was saying, that people accept that the race is switching when it's the other way around, but I also understand when people get upset about that because that has that has historical significance. Now, other people can say it's just art, who cares? But it does have historical significance. It's like a black person playing Abraham Lincoln or a white person playing Rosa Parks. These are real people that really existed. But when it is really pure fantasy or fairy tale or is based on something but very loosely i don't really care and i do think again both sides of the coin overcorrect a lot <laughs> ditto shia labeouf as shaft that, no that, it, it's <laughs> why don't we just go by merit and let the best actor win which seems like what happened when Anna de Armas just got picked to play Marilyn Monroe, even though she's Cuban with an accent. Hey, maybe she should play Fidel Castro. And... <laughs> and James Franco can play Marilyn Monroe, and then we can all... Watch that. Stay in our lanes. I would watch Is that. Is that what diversity and inclusion look like now? Everybody's staying in their lane? Lawrence of Arabia was gay. Peter O'Toole wasn't. I can live with that. Because he was so cool, he almost made me gay. <laughs> First of all, I would watch Franco as Marilyn Monroe any day. And the whole go by merit thing needs to be across the fucking board. That mean that many. That means when it comes to hiring practices or school or university entries or applications, it should be by merit, take race, gender, sexuality, uh, religion out of it. Merit based only. Oh, I forgot. According to CRT, that's white supremacy. Anyway, let's continue. Emma Stone caught hell for playing a Hawaiian, Jake Gyllenhaal for playing a Persian, Gal Gadot for wanting to play Cleopatra. Johnny Depp for playing an Indian, even though he's not an actual Comanche. And spoiler alert, he also doesn't really have scissor hands. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not actually a drunken pirate. Okay, bad example. <laughs> Tom Hanks now says that if Philadelphia were made today, he wouldn't do it because the character was gay and he's not. Well, besides the fact that this would force all gay actors to reveal their sexuality, even if they didn't want to, great actors, which Tom is one, try hard to keep their private lives private so we don't think of their real lives when we see them in a movie that attempts to transport us into a different world. Could you really look at this actress now? and not think of the trial? Should she only play bed shitters now? <laughs> Honestly, that's a really good point. It would force actors who don't want their, either they don't want to come out of the closet or they just want their private life private to come out of the closet just so they can play the role that matches their sexuality or even their religion or the political ideology. It makes no fucking sense. But anyway, let's continue. <laughs> What's Daniel Day-Lewis really like? I haven't a clue, which is why he's so great. Because when he plays Lincoln, I only see Lincoln. I don't think, well, there's a British heterosexual. <laughs> but Hanks says, I don't think people would accept the inauthenticity of a straight guy playing a gay guy. Because, quote, we're beyond that now. 
<laughs> Don't get him started on bosom buddies. <laughs> First of all, saying that puts gay men in a stereotypical box. What are you saying that a, gay, a straight guy can't play a gay guy? Are you just saying that all gay men are flamboyant or feminine or whatever? Like, gay men can come off as straight because they're just men. It's just their sexuality. Not all gay men are you know, flapping their hand wrist around. You know what I mean? Like, what does that even mean? And I'm so sick of Hollywood actors becoming woke to stay relevant, especially actors that you admire or respect, because it's just like, ugh, really? So stay the fuck out of it. You live in a gilded cage for the most part. Give us what the fuck we want. That is what you're getting paid for, to act, not to preach. Unless you are well educated in a subject or you have a history in being passionate about a certain subject, a lot of actors are just saying whatever they're supposed to say, whatever the politically correct thing is to say. And so it just comes off as disingenuous. Anyway, let's continue. I mean, really? Does Forrest Gump get thrown under the bus too because Tom isn't really mentally challenged? And as far as we're beyond that, no. No, that implies progress. This is the opposite. This is regression. And it's... <laughs> it's regression because it's a form of segregation. It's saying that you want diversity, but you don't want anybody to actually mix when it comes to culture. You don't want anybody to actually understand anybody else's culture because to play someone who is Native American but not Native American in a serious way, anyway, I don't think Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp was seriously playing a Native American, but in a serious way, then you have to understand that culture, right? And so, like, it's just... It's, it's just annoying, and it takes the fun out of everything. Progressives take the fun out of, and joy out of everything. That is why they're so perpetually fucking miserable all the time. Anyway, let's continue. And it is, frankly, typical of so much wokeness that doesn't build on liberalism. It undoes it. Empathy. Putting yourself in someone else's place so you can understand them better Thank you. used to be the very heart of liberalism. Now it's considered offensive because don't even try to put yourself in my shoes because you could never know. <laughs> what a bunch of bullshit that always was. Of course, no one can ever know exactly what another person's struggle is, but we try. Black Like Me was a 1950s book about a white man who darkened his skin and went out into society because he wanted to understand what his black brothers and sisters were up against. Today, all the woke mob would see about that was a guy who did blackface. Steven Spielberg recently remade West Side Story and bent over backwards to respect ethnicities and ended up pleasing nobody. And it's too bad because the original musical was created by Stephen Sondheim, Arthur Lorenz, and Leonard Bernstein, three gay Jews. <laughs> and nobody fucking watched it. Again, I don't know why the industry, different industries like Hollywood, the music industry, the comic book industry, listens to people that is not their audience. They're not their core audience. They don't give a fine crap. The people who would have watched the West Side Story are the people who grew up with the original and kind of wanted things to stay the same with a new paintbrush maybe, right? I don't really care not necessarily about the racial swapping, but it's not genuine. You're not doing it because you're a better person or you're more evolved. You're doing it to please an audience. That is not genuine. So everybody can smell the BS coming out of your fucking mouth. Everybody can smell the disingenuousness off the fucking screen, in the fucking trailer, so people dismiss it before it's even released into the theaters. You're not being genuine and we all fucking see right through your bullshit. Anyway, let's continue. And if you can't trust gay Jews to write about hot-blooded Puerto Rican teenagers, who can you trust? <laughs> Are the Puerto Ricans Jewish? Let me know. Anyway, let's continue. Next thing you're gonna tell me, street gangs don't even dance. <laughs> and now they're making a movie about Leonard Bernstein, and Bradley Cooper is playing him. I mean, if he can get through the picket lines. You see, like, Rachel Brosnahan playing Mrs. Maisel and Helen Mirren playing Israeli Prime Minister Golden Meir. Bradley is, sadly, a Gentile. And 
That's the new sin in Hollywood, being a non-Jewish actor portraying a Jew. Because that's always been the problem in Hollywood, not enough Jews. That's definitely never been the problem in Hollywood, and I can point out the biggest screaming, screeching problem in Hollywood. It's called P-E-D-O. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> The woke even have a word for this troubling new phenomenon, Jew face. Do you see what I mean about them having their head up their ass? Really, the word you're using to fight anti-Semitism is Jew face? What? Okay, again, we've always said progressives are very unaware, they're not self-aware. And didn't Whoopi Goldberg make a big old argument about the fact that Jewish people can just hide under their whiteness because there are no there are no facial recognizable attributes of Jewish people that stands out so they can be called out as Jewish and then being thrown into encampments, you know, during the whole like that thing. <laughs> but now we actually have something called whatever he said that I'm not gonna say, because censorship. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> It sounds like something Mel Gibson says at a traffic stop. That does sound like something Mel Gibson will say. Um, FYI, a little tidbit, I just filmed the other half of this video the very next day, because yesterday I had some sort of brain aneurysm and just stopped reacting to it halfway through the video. So I put on the same shirt and tried to pretend it is the same day, but I just thought I would let you guys know what's going on behind the scenes. Anyway, guys, tell me what you think of this video in the comment section below. Do you believe that people should only act what they can define as, right? So if you're paralyzed, if you're playing a paralyzed person, you have to be paralyzed. If you're playing a gay person, you have to be gay. If you're playing a blind person, you have to be blind. If you're playing a schizophrenic, you have to be schizophrenic. If you're playing someone who is stuck into a cult, <laughs> a cult regime, you actually have to be a cult member or, or else it's cultural appropriation. Let me know in the comment section below. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the button, get the notifications when I do upload. All the videos help with the algorithm, guys. And if you'd like to support the channel any further, you can donate. My PayPal and Cash App link is in the description box below and sometimes in the comment section. Of course, it helps, but you don't have to. You can just like, comment, and subscribe. Another great way to support the channel is either join my brand new membership program, different levels, different tiers, different perks, or you can visit my brand new merch shop. Links down below and links to all of the alternative platforms I'm on, my socials, including my Twitter. All the ways to support me and all the ways to contact me for business is always in the links down below. And if you like, you can super thanks. I also have a second travel vlog channel. I travel as a lifestyle. I live abroad. If you'd like to know where I am in the world, you can go to the description box below and also in the comment section hit the link go subscribe to my travel vlog channel and then follow me on my travel instagram my stories is usually who's most up to date they also have me on the channel speak freely links down below and you guys have an amazing day bye